routines of time. In your health spotlight, mental health professionals say spring cleaning can mean more than organizing your home. What about getting your thoughts and feelings in order? Vanessa Enos is with me this morning. She's a licensed mental health counselor from Community Health. Hi there. Good to have you. Good morning. Always good to welcome you to Daybreak. And you say erasing your thoughts is actually a myth. Yeah, so when we think about spring cleaning, a lot of times I think we think about what we're throwing away, what yes. we're tossing out. We can't do that with our thoughts. Um, our thoughts are kind of stuck with us, but we can think about some other ways to do it. So first off, our brain, it really hates to be ignored, right? Like a little kid going mom, mom, mom. The more we ignore it, the louder it's going to get. Our brain also hates to be told no. Mm -hmm. uh, if we say no, Right on a rainy day like this, we have all these beautiful puddles out here. If we say no to our kid trying to jump in a puddle, the first thing our kid's gonna do, they're gonna go splash in that puddle. And so what I want us to think about is how can we just re kind of reframe that thought in our brain and reframe discomfort in our brain. One of the great things that we can do uh, with an uncomfortable thought, so an example might be, um, as an adult, I might think, uh, I'm not good enough. That's a common thought a lot of adults have. Instead of going, I'm not good enough and letting that control me and thinking that's true, I'm actually gonna flip it on itself and I'm gonna say, my brain's thinking I'm not good enough. And by just beginning that, we kind of start to pull out of that yuck mm -hmm. and create a little room for stuff. Kind of like when we spring clean, we create a little room for other things in our home. If we avoid it with my substance use, our phone, it gets louder versus if we just step into it and let it exist, it actually calms down a little bit. It sounds empowering. It is empowering, to I love that word to for it. Yeah, to separate and be like, no, I, I've got this. Mm -hmm. I'm not letting, yes, the brain is mine, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I can control a lot of aspects of it. Well, because our thoughts don't have to be true, right? We have lots of thoughts all day long. That right. doesn't mean they're actually true. It doesn't mean I have to do what they tell me to do. It doesn't mean they have to control me. They can just be there. Or give feelings to them. Correct. Right? And sometimes those feelings are uncomfortable. And so that's the next thing I want us just to touch base on, is when I have a thought that's maybe powerful or uncomfortable, like I'm not good enough, because that doesn't feel good to no. do. A lot of, one of the things that we can do in that, embracing that discomfort, is actually be kind to ourselves. Um, as adults, we're not always kind to ourselves, especially if I'm thinking, I'm not good enough. And so what I want us to do, I'm gonna do a demonstration with you today. Um, I want you to think about someone or something that you love unconditionally. So for me, I've got this beautiful little boy. He's got my whole heart. I love him unconditionally. I'm really good at giving him all of my love. I'm not always the best at giving myself all of that unconditional hmm. love. So I want you to picture someone or something you love unconditionally. So it could be a kid, it could be a puppy, it could be a sports team, whatever that thing may be. For me, it's this little guy. Aww. And so I want you to take your hands and hold them in front of you and actually put all of that love you have for someone and that in your hands. And then when you think those negative thoughts or discomforting thoughts, where, does, where do you feel that? For me, I feel it in my chest. Mm -hmm. Some people maybe feel it in their head or other parts of their body. So I want you to take all of that unconditional love and I just want you to give it to yourself. Wherever you end up feeling Wherever that tension. Wherever you feel it, or, where you okay. feel that tension, yeah. where you feel that pain or that sadness, that sorrow. And that's a way for us to start to tolerate it. So my brain can think I'm not good enough. I don't have to react out of aggression or frustration. I can just react out of love for myself. And when you're talking about unconditional love, that's never going away, despite what's going on in your stressors of your day and everything, you're Absolutely. always going to have that. So it's a great tool, mm -hmm. whether you're in front of that person or source of unconditional love or not. 100%. Take that with you on this gloomy Thursday. Vanessa, right. thank you so much. Really appreciate that. That is helpful.